Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video on Power Drift. And as I keep saying, this one's different, this one's different, this one is genuinely different because there's something that I've been wanting to do for a while now vlogs. Because I know that you guys love seeing what we do in general. And it's exciting, right? What we do, it's glamorous. And therefore, we decided we'll come to a glamorous place to do our first vlog. And we have an airplane taking off right in front of us, probably making all of this sound quite ridiculous but can you really guess where we are there's a big ferris wheel in the back there's a beautiful skyline behind me ladies and gentlemen welcome to dubai because i need to do ferrari things okay now obviously we can't uh, do this in some random car it needs to be a ferrari right because we're doing ferrari things we need to drive a ferrari too so i made a couple of calls and lo and behold this is what they've dropped off that's pretty that is really really pretty you wanna have a look that ladies and gentlemen is the ferrari roma possibly one of the prettiest cars in production today and i have it for a day but before i ventured out i needed a wingman. Let me quickly tell you who Shivam is. I've known him for a while now. He's uh, also been very, very helpful behind the scenes on a couple of Dubai things we've done in the past. I was there in the GT Journeys episode 4. Who are you? The guy oh, giving perfect, the phone. Perfect, perfect, yes. Perfect. So, I wasn't talking time, though. Yeah, second time <laughs> on camera for PD. He's going to show me this uh, sort of lovely places, some lovely cars. We're heading to, well, we're right now. Right now at Blue Waters, you saw the world's largest Ferris wheel as you. It's insanely large. It's as large as my uh, appetite after a drive. Yeah. So what we are doing now is we are going to Tomini Classics to oh, check I've out. Oh, I've heard of that. I mean, I've obviously heard of that. I've seen videos on it. Yeah. On the internet. And uh, they're one of the classic car dealers specializing in classic cars. You know what I suspect Shivam is doing here? He knows exactly what I love, right? Because obviously we've known each other for a while now. And he knows my obsession for classic cars so he's going straight for the jugular straight for what i love old yes. italian automobiles <laughs> hey not bad not bad now let's quickly talk about the roma first okay ferrari's sweet spot might be for some the mid-engine cars but for me it's always been the stuff with the front engine V8s and V12s. So for me, the Roma is, well, perfect Ferrari. It's the essence of Ferrari. And coincidentally, I was in Rome for the original Roma launch or the global unveil, uh, where I shot a grey car and a white car. So it's this exact same color, the same launch presentation color. So this right. is a bit special. And uh, of course, front engine means that you have a proper GT, right. sort of comfortable, touring car sort of thing which I like more because I think I'm getting a little older now so first stop we've parked outside this grey building sort of matches the colour of the car and uh, I'm told inside this little door here is what I would call heaven I'm going to go past the Ford GT and the 911s and the SLS and the Morgan and SLs and go straight make a beeline for the 355 because this is one of my absolute favorite cars. Look at it. Look at it. This is the era that I grew up in, the era that I remember of Ferrari. But I'm going to quickly move on because there is a lot more special stuff like this. Now, this might look like a Testarossa, but it isn't. It, well, it sort of is. It's a 512M. The last and final iteration of the Testarossa. Look at it. I've never seen one in real life. This is how excited I am, okay? I'm like a kid in a candy store. I am breathless. Almost breathless. Oh, wait a second. 246 Dino. Look at it. And a silver 246 Dino. It's even better in non-red colors, this thing. Now, this is a Dino, so it doesn't have a Ferrari badge. Of course, it has the Dino badge. But, wait a second, more stuff. Look 
that F12, DDF, and a Testarossa 512 TR. I really don't know where to look because everywhere you look, there's some insane stuff. Look at that, look at the gills on this. And look at this, look at the vents. So peak 80s. I'm just completely lost for words here. And there's more. 599 GTO in a non red color. Awesome. That is a Super America. I mean, in terms of rarity, that is way, way up there. But this is what I'd have out of everything here. This is a Ferrari 330. And this is important because not only is this a beautiful looking car, this is what Enzo Ferrari drove till he passed away. This is his favorite car. This is what he drove to work every day. Guys, look at my reaction. I mean, oh, this is achingly beautiful. Again, I've never seen a 330 in real life. Oh, it looks even better from the rear. Look at it. Candyland? Yeah. Uh, speechless. You know, honestly, uh, that's, I mean, I don't think I can talk. <laughs> I don't think whatever you have planned for today, I do not think we are going to top a 330 and a FLDF and people. So more. FLDF. I am going to top that. Are you? Okay. I am going to top that. I think you're right. up for the challenge. So. Uh, where, we, where are we going next? What are we so doing next? what are we doing is we are going to well, this is Tomini Classics is a dealer, right? So we, right. So we are going to another dealer called the Pupil of Fate. They have another insane car. And I think that was about enough for the day. One last touristy thing though, the view of course from the private lounge on the 123rd floor of the Burj Khalifa. And it was time to wrap up because the next day, ooh, the next day was special. The next day was the reason I was really in Dubai. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh my god, this is one of the best cars I've ever driven in my life. Relax. Relax, you can't be hyperactive in space. I was better on rubber. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> they said, everybody said, Ferrari is going to a hybrid six cylinder engine. It's not going to be very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Balls. People have no clue what they're talking about. People have no clue what Ferrari have built because what Ferrari have built in essentially is a screamer. They've gone back to their roots. They've gone back to the days where all Ferraris, needless of what engine they were, sounded insane. Let me flip it down again. Second. Obviously it's hot outside, but <laughs> oh wow wow wow! You have to give it up to them. 800 plus horsepower. And wait, I'm gonna put this in hybrid mode now. Last blip though. You know what they call this engine? They call it the Piccolo V12, which basically means tiny V12 or small V12 or baby V12. Yeah, that it's that. It's that. Six cylinders are back, baby. They're back and they're back for good. And I'm sorry that this, despite it being a six cylinder, is just better than everything else that I've driven this year. This is the best car I have driven in 2022 probably one of the best cars i have driven ever and i'm not saying this because when i'm here in dubai driving this awesome ferrari i'm saying this because it's an absolute fact of life i got nothing but i give you the world Okay, now before I actually look around the car and show you around the outside, I do need to talk about this because at the end of the day, the 296 is still a hybrid and a hybrid might mean, well, might sort of in the truest sense or older sense, mean something like a Prius, but these are modern hybrids, these are cool hybrids. So, if you want to turn them into electric mode, all you need to do is press the E8, the ED button, the E drive button and goes into full electric and... You can put it into hybrid, which is like the standard driving mode, and it stays in the electric and uh, petrol combination mode. And then, if you want to really have the petrol engine on, then you go into the performance mode. And of course, you have the Manettino where you can go completely crazy. So, you can go wet, which is well, the super comfortable, super peaceful sort of mode. Then, you have sport, you have race, you have uh, CT off, and then, of course, you have the absolutely crazy ESC off, which you should never do on the road. Mm. Yeah, I seldom take my own advice though. I want to hear it. So, let's go have a closer look at what's outside because, well, the design is a bit love it or hate it, isn't it? First things first though, I'm going to try and get out of this car without looking like an absolute idiot. Let's see if I can manage. Seat all the way at the back. 
press the little button that opens the door and the problem with the Ferraris is I think the door doesn't open wide enough or maybe it's just because I'm huge that I need more space but nonetheless especially if you have large shoes like I do I am a US 13 or UK 12 huge feet right there um, it's sort of difficult to get in and out but let's try without looking like complete dicks right made it out okay now as I mentioned the uh, design language car was left on let's switch it off there we go okay as i mentioned design language is a bit um love it or hate it and uh well there's a car that we saw yesterday that's very very similar to this so look at these haunches right here look at this part you see this that reminds me of the dino that we saw yesterday and honestly that was a silvery gray car this is a silvery gray car and just look at it i mean yes it's a little underwhelming what a Ferrari should be, maybe, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's still a pretty car, isn't it? I mean, look at it, it's so understated, this thing, isn't it? But look at the hunches, look at all of this, look at all of this stuff right here. Huge wheels, as obvious, massive intakes. I mean, look at it, this is my hand, like, look at how big the intake is, it's huge. Overall though, it's still a Ferrari, it's still mid-engine, it's still cool, it's still got little cool bits and pieces like this for example, this little roof piece, air goes through here into the sort of, uh, almost like a little spoiler and then of course you've got the hidden away spoiler right here and you can hear the fan sort of going at it because again Dubai heat but uh, I mean look at this little carbon fiber piece, this pops up at speed to give a little bit more down further, look at the exhaust Look at the way they're nicely colouring. Nice, nice, nice. And there are just cool cars everywhere here in Dubai. I mean, there are some coming out right now. Okay then, I mean, cool. But, 296. Now, of course, we said that we'll do a lot more with the car. So I'm going to try and wonder now. What more should I do? Should I go a little more Banzai on these roads where there's literally nobody around for like miles and miles apart from the Occasional supercar passing by at crazy speeds. Do I have to give this back? I mean, gigantic Ferrari dealership, fantastic Ferrari, sad Cyrus. Okay, anyways, guys, until next time, tell us what you thought of this format because we are going to be doing a lot more of this because we enjoy doing this kind of stuff. We enjoy doing it a little informal once in a while and just having just a tad bit more fun than we usually have on our shoots. Not that we don't have enough fun on our shoots in any case, right? This is me saying bye to the 296, to Ferrari and to Dubai and back in India for more drives, more stuff in the studio and more stuff all for you guys. See you soon. Bye.